Hey guys, it's Richie from Fred Junkies and we are back. I am super excited to be bringing you this artist lesson this week. This is coming from a player called Raymond Goose, who is a world music artist. Let's check him out. <laughs> Again, Raymond is one of my one of my very favorite players. Um, reason being, he has that thing that separates him from the crowd. His rhythmic playing is amazing, and the world music he plays really resonates with me. Um, he's a master at those kind of African scales and very difficult stuff to play that that comes across quite easy, but it's super hard. I, I've been inspired by lots of his content. Uh, often screen recording many of his videos, watching them back and trying to mimic them. Um, but Raymond today is going to be teaching us something else. Uh, another speciality of Raymond's is the slide playing Roy Kuda kind of stuff. Um, he runs a, a program, a YouTube channel called The Guitar Show, where he documents lots of famous players, their, their um, equipment, basically history on the players and that with massive views, you know, and rightly so because uh, he's done his research. It's, they're really great content and I've learned loads from them. So I'm going to drop the link to all of Raymond's stuff obviously below. Um, definitely go and check him out for the history stuff in the guitar show, for the world music and for his Roy Kuda kind of stuff. Um, there's lots of content on his channel about that. So yeah, I asked Raymond and Raymond was kind enough to, to oblige, which I am really thankful for. So thank you, Raymond. And um, yeah, we are going to dive right into the lesson. This is a Roy Kuda inspired lesson um, where Raymond's going to be showing you some tips and tricks to make you sound like Roy Kuda himself. So uh, without further ado, this is Richie from Fred Junkies. Thanks for being here. Make sure to like, subscribe and share where you can and there's plenty more coming soon. Peace. Hi guys, it's Ramon Goose here and I've had the uh, great privilege of making a how to play like Rakuda kind of style for the amazing YouTube channel, one of my favourite YouTube channels um, which goes by the name of Fret Junkie, so thank you for asking me to do this lesson. Okay, we're going to bring the camera over here closer to me and I'm going to show you how to play that. Okay guys, we've got the camera in close to me. Now I'm just going to show you how I've got my guitar set up with the capo. If you want to make some other adjustments, like if, for example, take the capo out and tune to an E chord, which may be easier for you if you don't really have a guitar set up for slide and you've got 10s or 11s on it, you can literally just tune your guitar to the tuning that I'm in now, okay? But you're going to have to make these adjustments with the frets because I'm going to tell you exactly what fret I'm on um, and what note I'm playing regardless of the um, capo. So let's just go through my tuning. Without the capo, it would be D, A, D, F sharp, A, D. I'll tell you that one more time. D, A, D, F sharp, A, D. Now with the capo on, I'll tell you what these notes are now. They are E, B, E, G sharp, B, E. Okay? So, Let's talk about the slide. I've got a pretty heavy slide, but you don't need to really have a heavy slide. It's up to you what slide you use. Depending on your action, if you have a lower action, you probably want a lighter glass slide. If you have a really heavy action and heavy strings, maybe you want a, um, a still slide or 
copper or brass slide, whatever. I'm using a heavy glass slide, that's just because that's all I've got. Now I'm going to wear this on my third finger. It's very important because that is a right cuda style, okay? Let's just talk a little bit about no fretting. Um, it's really important that if you're just starting off slide, I would just do this exercise. Just practice going up the neck. And trying to get a nice clean note. Check your intonation, um, as I should as well. Right. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to play you the solo of this piece. This is a 12 bar, so the first part of the solo will be this. Right, so I'll show you that bit first. This is actually like a little bit similar to Paris, Texas riffs. So we're going to go here on the this E string here, um, and we're going to go from the second to the third fret, and back again, and then a pull off to open, and then back to the third fret from the second fret. So it sounds like this. But we're also going to play that E string at the same time, the low E string with our thumb, and we can use your first, second, or third, just however you wanted to use it. I'm using my third. Sometimes I use my second. And then we go from the 3rd to the 5th and then we're going to go to, when we do the 5th to the 7th fret here we do the same riff as on the 3rd and 2nd fret but obviously now we're a tone apart and then we're going to come to the 11th fret and 12th fret when we go here we're going to, go, we're going to pick two strings at the same time you can do a bit of a wild right over Okay, by the way, I'm on my neck pickup here. Sounds really good with the neck pickup. I'm using a Golf old, old 60s Tiesco pickup, which is a really nice Rikuda sort of style sound. So let's just do all that together. Okay, and that's gonna, that, that should take a, over the first four bars of the 12 bar sequence. Then we're gonna go to the next chord, which is the A chord. this riff. So to get to the A chord I'm going to go from the 5th fret to the 7th fret, just with my slide. Vicuda often um, vibrates with no damping. Okay, don't worry about that damping, you're going to get some nice, you're going to get the nice harmonics if you don't damp. Because Rikuda has kind of come from the acoustic style, which is more rustic, rather than the kind of more um, perfect style of, say, um, a modern slide player like Derek Trucks, you know? Rikuda is much more earthy and much more Mississippi-based, really. So you know, that's what you want. You want that kind of, those extra harmonics jumping off. Now, the little lick he plays here over the four chord, so... So he's coming up here from the 12th to the 14th, and then back down again, and then up to the 13th, and then 14th on the D string. My mistake it will be the E string, okay? So E, B, E, G sharp, E, B. So we, if I get really close in here, that's on the B string, back, that's 12, 14. Now on this G sharp, from the 12th to the 13th, and then we're gonna end on the 14th fret on the on the E string here. This is, there's two E's there, but it's this one. This would be a D string on a normal guitar. You do that twice. Now when you come back to the E chord, you can do this like a second to the third fret on the, the low E. Um, and then, the way I'm doing this, oh, there's a few ways you can do this. Personally, I, I would recommend this way, 14, sorry, 12 to 14 on the B string here. 
And then you're gonna go 14 with your first finger again. This is on the G sharp, and then your thumb on that E. Now you could change up your fingers and do it a different way. So you might want to vary, vary that riff the second time you do it. So I'm just adding that on the end of that. Okay, so let's just play the, those two chords. We're going to go from the four chord to the one chord. So hopefully that will give you some ideas there over those chords. Now, as soon as he plays that last lick over the one chord, comes with that really nice lick. So we got, we're gonna go from 12 to 14 on the G sharp string. And then on that B, we're gonna go 12 to 14, back to 12 which is um, on the five chord, it's the flat seven note here. We're gonna slide now on the B string from nine to seven, and then from seven on the G sharp up to the nine, and then we're gonna hit with our thumb this E string here on the ninth fret. So. come back to the four because that was a five chord we could go to the four and we're gonna hit this high um, it's a uh, high E string on the 14th fret and that's really easy you can just do you can put pretty much do whatever you want but as long as you on the we're on the 14th fret which is back on the E okay and then you could do a turnaround which would be I put my second and third finger on the fifth fret on the G sharp and the B strings. You might want to do that from seven to nine. Okay, so let's just play that turnaround again. Okay, now I'm going to just show you here how to play that little groove that I was playing at the beginning of the video. That goes like this. So basically the, the main thing is triplets. So we, we're going one, two, three, one, two. So there's a few ways you can do this. If you use your first and second finger here on the G sharp and the B string on the fifth fret, and you've got your thumb there. Now you, again, you can use your first and second. And then I'm gonna use my third finger here on the fifth fret, the low E string. And then I'm gonna change up from my second finger on the third fret, third finger on the fifth fret for the G sharp string. Thanks guys for checking out this video, I hope it all made sense, if it doesn't make sense we can always do it again. Fred Junkies is one of my favourite channels so I'll always be checking his channel out and uh, guys I just want to say keep sliding, stay safe, stay well, God bless, all the best.